T-minus 2 minutes, 12 seconds and counting. Once the rocket lifts off, it will only take about 36 seconds to reach Mach 1 or the speed of sound. One fifty nine. Vehicle internal. Launch sequencer start. One fifty. Carrying Centaur LH two. It's carrying Centaur LO two. One forty. FCS launch enable. One thirty. FTS armed. T minus one minute, 26 seconds and counting. The launch vehicle, payload, ground systems, and eastern range are go for launch. Walk is armed. FCS count started. 115. Produce ECS for launch. Roger. 110. Vent valve is locked. Sixty seconds. T minus one minute. Rock. Report range status. Range green. Forty. Stable at step three. T minus 30 seconds. ECS reduced for launch. Roger. 25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Mios. 20. 15. T minus 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, we have RD-180 ignition and we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the third mobile user objective system mission for the United States Navy. MUO significantly enhances communications for U.S. forces on the move. Throttle back, or throttle back up. Uh, engine response looks very good. SRB chamber pressures have plateaued. You are hearing the voice of Max Marty Malinowski providing launch vehicle ascent data. Let's listen in for mission progress. Altitude is 8.6 miles, downrange distance 5.6 miles, current velocity 2,195 miles per hour. has throttled down as expected. Engine response looks good. Injector pressures, chamber pr and pump speeds look good. Coming up on SRV burnout. And we have SRV burnout in progress. And booster has begun throttling back up to 100% until we hit the 2.5G throttle segment. Engine response looks very good. Body rates continue to control down the middle. And we have jettisoned all five SRBs. Looks like a good separation. And we've completed the Q-Alpha limited steering. Current altitude is 40 miles, downrange distance 62.9 miles, current velocity 5,159 miles per hour. Range track shows the vehicle making good progress down the middle of the range.
And the RCS pyro valve has been fired. We are now throttling to maintain two and a half Gs. Systems pressurizing the flight levels. Vehicle is now 25% of its liftoff mass. RD-180 continues to throttle to maintain a 2.5 G acceleration level. All systems look good. Coming up on payload for jettison in 15 seconds. And we have payload for jettison. Vehicle is now throttling back up until we hit our 4.6 G throttle segment. Currently accelerating at 4.6 Gs. Boost phase cooldown is underway. Pogo pyro vent has been fired. Boost phase cooldowns complete. Coming up on Pico. And we have Pico. Engine shutdown looks good. We have retros and stage separation. Looks like a clean sip. It locks and fuel pre start. The GN2 purge front of the RCS is underway. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL10. This is scheduled to be a 462 second burn. Centaur box tank pressures have been vented down as expected. Steering has been enabled. Vehicle response looks good. This is Atlas Mission Control at T plus 5 minutes, 15 seconds into tonight's mission. We've just heard Marty Malinowski report the successful execution of events comprising the early part of tonight's mission, and all systems continue to operate nominally. The mission is currently in the first of three Centaur engine burns. Our next event, Centaur main engine cutoff, will occur in approximately seven minutes.